Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome to Overwatch, the most convoluted game name of the year thus far. What are they overwatching? Maybe the Overwatch stands for you watching overwatching your own highlights or something? Because this game certainly isn't overwatching anything. And you're playing like even you're even playing on the enemy side, so and they're not part of Overwatch, so what is Overwatch? Whatever. Anyways, I'm here to talk about the game uh, problems that I just don't know why Blizzard doesn't spend more time addressing these problems because I honestly think they're a big problem. For one thing, I've already said this in my previous video, like the penalty for, you know, um, actually you don't know, the penalty for leaving a game is way, way too lenient like the penalty for leaving a game is just you consistently leaving the game it's just you not being able to get exp for that game and if you stayed the whole entire game for the next game after that the penalty goes off and at this point who the hell cares if you don't get exp like the only thing exp gets you from leveling is just the player loot crates and for some people they don't really even freaking care about the loot crates. So what are they losing out? They're losing out nothing by leaving the game if the game isn't um, favorable for them. And then what else? Um, people leaving the game. And what that happens is, okay, someone leaves the game. Now we have to wait. Like That slot will be open for another player to come in. And that takes a little bit of time. And then another person leaves. And then another slot opens. And that takes some time sorry purpose there so can you see can you see like the, this this problem here like these people leaving these people leaving and this person leaves like and then there's this like gaping hole like three members gone and your team's down three members for like the, for the next five seconds those five seconds is incredibly precious and it just pro promotes a very bad game like really bad People just leave, the only penalty they get is no XP. Who the heck cares? Who the heck cares? Like, League of Legends had the perfect system for if people leave game. First, you get a 5 minute timeout, and if you keep doing it, it extends to a 15 minutes. And if you keep on doing it, it can go to like an hour. And if you consistently do it, you actually get, you know, a, a day ban, I think. I'm not very sure, but you do, you know, get a time ban, which is ridiculous. Not ridiculous, but you know, it's fair. Force people to you know not leave the game consistently. Something uh, incentive to make them not leave. It's dumb. It's such a big problem. Really, this problem is so big, and I just don't know why the um, Blizzard didn't think about you know they didn't think about this problem. The next problem I I find absolutely okay. If they don't want to change, you know, the, the time policy, at the very least, lock the game. There are so many times I just enter a game, and other players too. It goes to, off to the player leaving again. Like they, 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 people come in expect to, you know, have a fun time, have a good time, play the game. When then they come in, oh, I just joined a team that just instantly lost or is losing or something like that or similar. Lock the room, like. The game, when the game's almost over, like down to the last few minutes or down to like the last minute or something, lock it. It's like, it might be, it might not be fair for the team playing that, hey, they might have a chance of a comeback, but it's also not fair for the people who just come in and the game instantly ends. It really isn't. Nobody wants to go into, a, like wants to wait 10, 15 seconds to enter a game, load in for like, another half a minute or something. I don't know. Some people have been there for low times. I can't be too sure. But then they just go in, oh, and the game's over. Like, <sighs> it's just really stupid. It really, really is. I think those are two main problems that I have with this game, personally, on a personal level. Personally, on a personal level, yeah. That's so much pers it's so personal. It's double personal. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, anyways, enjoy these highlights that I have saved up. I really, they might not be the best highlights, but they're pretty cool. Enjoy, and 
Uh, I'll just say this in advance. Like if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all on the next video. Okay, goodbye. But wait, before I start showing the highlights, a little something. Here's the thing about Overwatch with their highlights. Uh, some people may or may not know. If you don't know, here's some news for you. Sometimes when you play games, you get player at the end of the game. You you feel like you've done something special inside the game. But then when the player game shows, it's like, oh, it's not me. Man, I did something good. Here's a little thing for you. Your player of the game will actually be saved. Like your exclusive one, something that you've done very good. The thing is, I think it could be like a double kill or a triple kill. But I think your hot biggest kill streak or something like in the instance will show up. Like if you go to highlights, you'll see your own personal highlights. Like even though that the video, player of the game video showed at the end of the game wasn't yours, if you go here, you can find that it may your thing that you've done, the thing you've achieved, would be right here. And it's really something interesting to know about, to learn about. And cue the highlights. Get in there. No one can hide from my sight. Enemies re engaging. Push on. Double kill. Quadruple kill. Quintuple kill. 